Man, I really blew it right at the end there. I think what was really messing with me is the fact that he slides forward when he's doing his combo. So when the, when the, by the time the third hit was coming, I'm like, oh, surely I'm out of range by now, and it would still hit me. There's nothing here, is there? Nope. All right. Do 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 journey bottle. Fortress key dropped by the sodden knight. The sodden knight's ashes. Ashes of the sodden knight. His charge was to protect the fortress that became known as the festering banquet. When and how the fortress became a cursed place of shambling monsters remains a mystery. Can be used as a transmutation material or exchange with or exchange with a leader. What does that mean? We must encounter we must encounter leaders at some point. Let's see. I assume transmutation means it's useful for upgrading, and exchange with the leader. I assume is probably the equivalent of the boss soul vendors that the uh, that, that uh, Dark Souls Two had, where you can swap a uh, boss soul for an upgrade. Did I already go here? Yeah, I did. All the enemies are back because I, because of my death. All right, so do, can I open this now? I can. What's through here? Hi. Friendly. Greetings, Traveler. Do you have a quest? Yes? Rescuing a princess? Hmm? I haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Yes? Excellent. My quest is to invade the castle of, to the east, to defeat its guardians, and slay the good dragon. Castles must be invaded and dragons must be slain, mustn't they? Sure. I don't think that's really why they built the, the castles. I think they're built to not have that happen, but... Power to you? Gre getting into this castle is a different story. There's a bridge to it, but it's missing bits. There's another way in, but it's not easy. I saw a pa passage beneath the fortress You must that you just emerged from. Uh, perhaps it leads through a... A village of sorts. There's a shortcut that connected to the beach of the village, but it's been barred. Perhaps you can unlock it? So we need to connect the beach to the village. I've heard something about a jester. A jester knows a way to get to places no one else can. It's easy to claim something until you actually back your claims up. Then you're just a rumor monger. There we go. Are you just a rumor monger, sir? Can I hop on there? Hit. What's this item? Black Pearl. Oh! Aren't Black Pearls how you level up in this game? I think they are. You can get Black Pearls without leveling up? Alright, this might be dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and use my souls back at the last shrine we had, and then we'll get back to here. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oop. Could have browsed your wares. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Done. Alright, let's go ahead and use our salt. Die, salt. So the uh, bigger one's 250. Smaller ones are 100 right now. Taking me to 450 extra salt. How many times can I level up with that? Ten to level five. Oh, there you go. Now that I have enough experience to level multiple times, I can now press it over and over again to get up to the next level. So I was wondering why the triangle and square were there. Kind of surprised you don't just mash X over and over again. I guess this is faster. So I can gain... Wow, yeah. I can gain four levels using almost exactly the amount of salt I have. Here we go. So no more leveling up, but now I have tree points to spend. I have five. Damn. I think I want that extra pouch. My current build doesn't have a shield, so having access to a pouch or extra healing would be handy at this point. I could go for defender and just learn how to use a shield, but I don't know. Maybe doing a no shield run will be a fun little thing that'll differentiate this one from other ones, you know? Let's see, daggers or swords? I mean, if I want to do a dex-based character, assassin's probably the way to go. Let's go ahead and learn daggers. Poultice pouch, bam, extra one. Let's see what's around here. Alright. Wisdom of it's, uh, it makes your Makes your prayers stronger. Probably not using those. 
hammers and axes are berserker skills, heavy armor. Yeah, this whole side is an area that I probably won't use as much. Enhanced magic. Oh, this is a whole magic part of this, the tree then. There's a pouch down there, but there's probably ones I can get that don't involve grabbing things I don't want. Probably wouldn't hurt to have some skill with bows. Although I do have marksmen already for class crossbows. I should find out how well crossbows and pistols scale with dexterity. Because generally, archers tend to scale better. I mean, bows tend to scale better. Let's look at my gun. The platoon crossbow. Uh, dexterity scaling is E. Okay. So I think it's a fun starting weapon, just to drive home the theme where they're trying to... They're, they're trying to really drive home the fun, like, this is the Hunter from Bloodborne kind of thing a little bit, but I think if I want to be effective at dexterity, an archer is probably a better call. Improved endurance. There's, are there, oh, there's another poultice pouch right there. I need two points to get to it. Let's focus on that. We'll get this bonus point of dexterity right here. And then this extra poultice pouch. Bam. Now I, ha now I have five instead of three. Are there any other ones nearby? Those might be a decent thing to prioritize. There's a lot of them, by the way, just everywhere. <laughs> this might be a decent thing to prioritize for a while. File sleeve. Get an additional energy potion. That must be how you regenerate your mana when you cast spells or something. Something I don't necessarily do. Oh, wait, maybe they use spell uses like in the other game. Anyway, let's head towards Class 1 Archer down here. Oh, I, I can access it right now, because I already grabbed Assassin. There we go. So now I can use bows, which, I mean, they're bows. I'm sure they scale with dexterity. It'd be weird if they didn't. So I got an extra point of dexterity, I got two extra poultice pouches, and I can now use daggers and bows. That seems decent. Alright. Here we go. Make offering. Stone Cleric and Stone Blacksmith. Hey, guys. Just hanging out, having a swell time. Nice to meet you. All right, cleric. You seek discipleship of the three. The candelabra of the three represents the three gods that maintain order in the world. The king creates laws by which all men must abide. The judge decides when men have broken the king's laws. The knight carries out the king's sentence against guilty men. There must be order in all things, in peace and in war. Uh, that's the same... Yep, the same dialogue again. Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. Alright, you can learn prayers here. Blessed weapon. Class 2 prayer. Unable to do that. Buy... What do you sell? Oh, shards. 500 each is a lot, though. It is just for one, too. I totally- th I thought maybe it would be a stack of them, but no. Blessed page. A page of the- from a blessed tome. The strength of the thousand miracles still clinging playfully to it. Apply it to your weapon and add a holy damage to your attacks. Oh! Holy paper, basically. Also costs 500? 500 is a very st a very standard amount of money in this game, isn't it? Okay. Oh yeah, look at- in the bottom corner you can see the buffs I have for this region. So as long as those things are there, my attack and my... I think it was the drop rates? And my blessings are stronger. And once I get further away... Heed the order of the three. Once I get further away, those buffs will disappear. It might have been unwise to summon them here, because for all I know, there's another shrine right around the corner. Don't know, though. Sword, shields, mail, and plate. If you need it, I can craft it. I think that... I think that areas like this actually might be relatively rare in this game. Now that we've established that there's like a, a mini shrine of some kind, where you can just rest and restore your your flasks and have that be your respawn point. Now that we know that that exists, it's entirely possible that that'll be how most checkpoints work, and that this, this these areas that function as towns will probably be less common by comparison. So it's probably decent. I mean, they gave you the items to... They gave you those items in the starting zone, they probably intend you to use them here. Back home, we'd forge uh, fine instruments from pure living steel. What do I craft here? Oh, what, what do I craft with here? Salvage, salvage, salvage. That and memories. Oh, this person has less dialogue than the merchant did, who had a whole backstory, apparently. See, so we could buy... Dirks and swords. Oh! 
a, a dagger has S scaling with dexterity. That's cool. Uh, soldier spear. Is it not great with strength or dex, but better at dex. Oh no, this bow has D scaling with dexterity. I mean, it's better than the E the other one has. Maybe weapons just don't. Maybe ranged weapons just don't scale that fast. These are both strength weapons. He has a bunch of shields. I don't need no shield. I'll probably need. I might need a shield eventually. <laughs> And we can get trousers and tunics and stuff. It would help if I could compare them to my current equipment from here. Let's see, upgrade. I guess I could look at my equipment right here. It's so like my, for example, my cloak is uh, 31 strike defense, 12 slash defense. So how does your cloak compare? 3112, so I lose 5 strike and gain 7 slash. So it is, it is a mix and match a bit. There might be an element of fashion souls going on here. Can I upgrade my weapons? That's a better question. My bullwhip. Oh, we need a lock of hair to upgrade the bullwhip. And it's a big upgrade too. You gain 6 extra damage. That's practically double. Alright, I better go find a lock of hair. Platoon crossbow also requires a lock of hair. They all require a lock of hair. And 250 salt, which is not too bad to get. And they're... I'm gonna want to get these a uh, lock of hair as fast as possible. Which is a horrifying sentence to say in some ways. Because uh, these are some significant upgrades right here. Okay. Let's go re... Uh, let's see what I can... What could, I didn't have any... Yeah, you can only buy... You only sell equipment here. I might as well invest in a bow just to get used to using one, I think. I did just get the skill for doing that. Uh, done here. Keep your wits about you out there. Let's go ahead and equip my new bow. See, so you probably can't use a bow at the same... Yeah, you can't. That's the whole point of a crossbow is you can use it with your weapon. Let's take off my sword over here and equip my bow. I have no arrows, so we're gonna have to stock up on those. So now, it's a two-hand bow. It does not default to two-handing my whip. Which might be problematic if I want to do more damage. But I haven't confirmed that it actually does more damage yet. Let's see, health, focus, stamina, attack, 12.9. Oops. Oh, there's my five flasks. Does, does it say a different amount of damage here? Attack, 10.5. Attack, 12.9. Oh, oh, no, it remembers my two-hand now that I, I toggled it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know yet if it, the two-hand actually affects your damage. Let's see if I can buy bows. I mean, arrows. Flintlock shot. Bolt. Crossbow, no. Flame arrow. Probably just stick to normal arrows for now. Flame arrows... I think they cost three times as much. Boom. Buy 100 of them. Might honestly be worth it, to be honest. Um, that was a redundant sentence. Let's go. Let's go. Let's not go too far, because we need money to revive. Don't necessarily want to learn this early on. What happens if you don't have the ability to revive? There we go. Twenty flame arrows. Don't think I was in a hurry to grab anything else from this guy, because he sold like the uh, pitch fire and stuff. Could be interesting. Antidote could be interesting, and uh, I have I have a bell of return. I keep trying to cancel out. You have to scroll down to the uh, the leave button. You can't uh, you can't leave the dialogue conversation. Dialogue conversation. Wow, good job, me. You can't leave the dialogue without uh, by hitting circle. You have to actually leave the uh, menu. All right, so I've got my red flasks, five of them. I'm level eight. Let's get back to where I left off. Make a mess of things. All right, we're back inside the original area. I just noticed this little side door here as an item. Pouch of salt. And there's another shortcut there. So as we progress forward, this is where I- right up there should be where I talk to that... I don't know, paladin? Knight? Character? Leave me alone! Huh? There we go. Yeah, there he is. So down there, there's another gate. Oh, I can move right- right joystick moves the camera a bit. So that's yet another shortcut, so I think we will be using that shrine for a while, because it looks like we get a series of shortcuts that make the path back faster. Oh. Am I about to access it right now? Woodsman's axe, cotton trousers, cotton tunic. No, maybe I can't reach it from there yet. 
have to go down to the bottom. Well, I'd rather not suffer fall damage, so let's just go ahead and take the normal path for now. Probably get another way in. I should check what torches do, because I got those earlier, and I haven't actually checked yet. Obviously, there's, it's a stick you let on fire, but I mean, like, mechanically, what does it do in this game? It is not in your inventory, is it? It does not show up as an inventory item. Alright. Let's assume for now that perhaps it takes up one hand when you light it, and that it lights your surroundings up. And maybe there's an environment where it's so dark you need that. Or maybe you need to, uh... I don't know. Down an X, drop down. Oh, yeah. Wow. I wonder if people really could make it this far without figuring that out. A pitchfork weapon. I assume it's a weapon. Yep. An agricultural tool consisting of a three-pronged iron head affixed to the end of a wooden shaft, arguably better known as a makeshift weapon taken up by destitute peasants and angry mobs than for its intended purpose of p uh, pitching hay and compost. My equip is currently... Oh, it would go up if I put that on. I'm at 27 out of 42. Oh. The screen vibrates when I roll. I wonder if I, I wonder if I have a fat roll right now, or if that, uh... I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll pump up my equip load. I don't know if this game has a fat roll or not, where you, the more you, equip, you have equipped, the slower you move, and it messes with your, your mobility in various ways. Red shard? No, bad bats, get out of here. You two books. You ain't got no place here. Shame on you. Alright, this will open something up. Ooh! Hey, look at the bow I just bought. Alright, well that was a waste of money. It's no big deal, it was just 500 gold. Like, a relatively large portion of the overall money I've made so far. Just had to walk slightly further and I was gonna get the exact item I bought. It is the same item, right? Yeah, it is. Alright, well I feel silly. Oh, crossbow man. Oh, we're here. Oh, we're back in here. I just opened the door down here. Okay, well, I don't need to be continue this way, then. We just opened up another shortcut in that direction. Cool. What's over here? Oh, it's breaking. Oh, it's breaking. Bundle of salt, soldier spear. All right, yeah, so let's not buy weapons from the blacksmith, because I think I'm going to get all of them soon. What's over here? Hey, buddy. Hello, friend. Trinkets to, trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. Alright. Friend, I'm so happy you came along. I've gathered things. Trinkets, trinkets and such. Trinkets for gold, that's what I've got. Trinkets for coin. How'd you end up here? I stowed away. Sold trinkets and... Tana beer. Trinkets for coin. So poor, though. Talk of wealth and car he. Even beggars, like me, have gotten manservants there, they say. Stowed away, sailed, then the sto that storm. Oh, he was a stowaway on our ship. How do you fall for that kind of lie? That beggars have manservants? How does that even work? Because then... That just... Who, ha, how poor were the people that were the manservants that they're serving beggars? Like, that's, there's no logic. You're a crazy man. That's like the streets are paved in gold. Imagine the surprise those sailors' faces seeing the likes of me and the wreckage there with all of them honest men. All of us floating in the sea, clinging to planks, shivering in the icy cold. Not sure how many of the others made it to shore. That shivering, shivering shore. I wonder if we're all dead, because I fought the Cthulhu monster thing and should be pretty dead because it pretty much wrecked me. So I wonder if we're all just dead and no one survived the shipwreck and this is a crazy purgatory. But the trinkets I find here, they do sell, they do. Doing quite nicely, I am. Soon enough, I'll be able to buy my escape. Somehow. Somehow. Well, he's holding on to hope, but who's he going to buy his escape from? We might all be stranded here, for all I know. I don't know if anyone has a way out of here yet. Somehow. That's, no, that's not going anywhere. What does he sell? A lock of hair! I want that. And an endless fang. A fang left behind by the vanquished beast. Its lifespan must somehow reach back to ancient things far beyond that of its owner. And lock of hair. A soldier's memento to a deceased loved one. It held the promise of eventual reunion. Its memories can be used by a blacksmith to upgrade weapons. The Endless Fang doesn't actually say anything about what it does. Oh. Bolts, flame bolts, torch. Stained page. A page from an unholy tome. Stained in shifting darkness. 
Apply it to weapon to add arcane damage to your attacks, crushing its crush its brittle pages in a holy place to expunge its sacred light. So if you're anti-holy, I wonder if you can be like anti-holy in your playthrough. Be a member of um, sort of darkness, and you can buy his beggar's clothes, I guess. It'd be pretty funny if they just disappeared off his back when you bought them. Um, I can't afford both, and I don't know what the Endless Fang does, so I'm going to buy the Lock of Hair. And now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and backtrack back to the Sanctuary. And we're going to go upgrade my weapon, because that is a very significant damage upgrade. So trying to progress forward without it seems silly. Alright, Blacksmith. Let's look into getting an upgrade. That's the wrong menu. I did it twice. Upgrade. Let's get this- oh yeah. That's about six extra damage. Oh, I don't have the salt. Uh, my bad. Do I have an extra salt in my inventory? I do. That's a potato. <laughs> did not mean to do that. We still don't have enough salt. I'll go kill one zombie outside. They're like right out there. I'm not, I shouldn't break a, a pouch. Just for, uh... Come back here, buddy. Yeah, I shouldn't, shouldn't break a pouch just for 100 salt when they're right there. Although I guess they're, ne they're generally not worth that much if there's if I could just kill a few guys for 22 each right outside. Upgrade. Bull whip of power. It's called a bull whip one. All right. Should be significantly more powerful now. It's, it's a uh, somewhere between 50% and double damage extra. It's, it's somewhere between 50% uh, more damage and double damage. Yep, they're dying in two hits now. That'll be handy. That kind of upgrade would have helped against the boss earlier. 